Hi everybody, welcome to today's thrifting channel. I do have some amazing bags that I just thrifted um, here at Savers. Actually, some are brand new leather bags with tags, so I'm really excited to show them to you. But first, you guys, this video may be a little controversial because I am going to say a few things that I feel, which is something that I usually do not do, but I think it's time. I think it's time to just come on out and uh, tell you how I feel about this. So, you guys know that besides um, YouTube, most of you know that I do have a job outside of YouTube and I have an Instagram as well for anybody that wants to go over and follow me on Instagram. And something that I'm not fond of, I'm gonna try to put this as nicely as I can. I'm not gonna call any names out, I won't do that. I could very easily do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I would like to just say that it's really a good thing because one by one I'm weaning out people that follow me on YouTube and on my Instagram by, let's see, I'm weaning them out. Let's just say people that probably don't belong there. We'll just put it like that. So by saying that, I mean that I post pictures of bags and my everyday life at home on occasion. Is stupidity a hard word? It very much is a hard word. Um, lack of, let's see, lack of paying attention. Maybe we could use that instead of stupidity. That's because stupidity is tough. That's, that's a hard word. Um, but I do have a few, many actually, followers that use lack of perception, maybe common sense. Um, in that case, I do get some feedback on some comments that I leave in regards to comments they leave. I won't go and say what comments they are because that would actually, if you looked for them, you'd see them and then it would call that person out. But let's just say, for instance, I'm just going to use a scenario here. Um, because I want to use one that no one else has used, but I will put, okay, here's a good one. This one has been used a lot, so there'll be a lot of people that can be called out for this, but this one's okay. I'll use this one. I will put at the top of an Instagram post, maybe a purse I bought myself and bold letter, bold letters. It will say not for sale. Then I'll have people commenting. Well, how much is your bag? To me, that's just um, dumb. I feel like if you would just read and see what is at the top of each post, you won't have to waste your time or my time on getting back to you that the bag's not for sale when I've already posted it in bold letters. Okay, that, that's just a scenario. Trust me, it gets way, way, way more, I'm gonna say stupid, I'm gonna fly out and say stupid because these people that I have blocked and I just, I can't keep going on and on and on with the same people asking the same questions repeatedly when they've been watching me for years and they know how it works. Um, so I am not going to hold back anymore, you guys. If for instance, <laughs> I just, oh, there's so many, okay, I'm gonna, I, I, think, I think I actually deleted this comment because this one was just way too far-fetched. I posted a picture, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of a little tiny lizard that my cat brought in. Um, my cat's a year old and he likes to bring in lots of strange things. On occasion, I will post it because I think it's hilarious. Some may get grossed out, that's that's fine, you know. Some may be like, oh my God, how could you do it? That's fine, that's hilarious. You know, post away, post away. But when I put at the very top of the post, this is what Storm brought in today. And my cat Storm, Stormy, brought in today. And then I post a picture and then I have comments like, oh my God, where did that come from? Did that come from the strip thrift store? Is that something that you got from the, that came in on the plant from the thrift store? Well, doofus, and yes, I did call you a doofus because you're being a doofus. If you would have read at the top, it says that the plant was already in my house 
it was sanitized and clean. I clean and sanitize all items before I bring them in. And no, it wasn't from the thrift store. The lizard wasn't from the thrift store. And then the other one was, oh my God, where did that come from? Now this, this person here shocked me that, that the dumbness just came out because she's been following me forever, forever, forever. And she actually sent me some really nice items a couple years back, maybe a year ago, actually. And so my humor was, you know, hey, you're not going to read the top. I'm just going to come back with a comeback saying, well, actually, I hunt reptile and then I just toss them in my living room. People, people, let's get a grip here. Okay, there's some things I just, I want to say so badly, but I won't because... I, I really don't care how touchy people are. I don't. I, I, I could care less. I just think I'm calling people out. This is why you were blocked. If you're wondering, don't come back at me asking why. This is why. If you guys aren't going to listen to instructions on videos that I do every single video, please don't watch my videos. Please don't purchase my goods. Now, I do have tons and tons of new people that are asking me, hey, kudos, man, I'm gonna answer, and I'm gonna answer exactly, and then I also post a video that shows you how, you know, what to do, how to do it. I'll be glad to repeat myself, not a problem. But it's the ones that have been on my channel for years, <laughs> been on my Instagram since I started Instagram, and they automatically spout off these random questions that have already been answered a million times. So, I don't mind if you think I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use nice words because we're on YouTube. I don't care if you think I'm a witch with a B. I don't care. I don't care if you think I'm being unfair. I don't care. That's okay, because this is what I do, and I have to take the good with the bad, and trust me, there is this much bad and the size of the world in good when it comes to my, my followers. I mean, a lot of you here are going to laugh at what I'm saying and a lot of you are going to flip me the bird, cuss me out. That's great. I'll just leave it. I'll leave the comments. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but the ones that I are we am weaning out are my time wasters and I, I literally, you guys know, I don't have time to to waste because I do like to get back to you guys but when it's on there are such a thing as stupid questions remember your teachers used to always tell you there's no such thing as a stupid question oh trust me trust me there are stupid things there are things as stupid questions so on that note I do find it completely hilarious I do find it quite sad and at times I find it a little mind-boggling so speaking from me I'm not gonna hold back I'm gonna say what I have to say and then I'm just gonna like poof be gone because it is what it is. So those of you who understand my situation are probably YouTubers or you work in a field that you have to deal with the public and you're just like, what? Are you kidding me? Is this, is this, are these people for real? Like, you know they can read because they type out comments, so you know they can read. You know they have that ability. But um, some people just like to spout out questions and comments without getting their information first. And as a mom, and as a worker of a couple jobs, one being way more, way more <laughs> intense than you two, um, it took quite a lot of, let's see, schooling I'll say, um, yeah, it took, it, it took a little bit of brains, um, just finding these people are just, they, they amaze me, because these people that I thought were super nice and, and intelligent people have blown me out of the water with their words I won't use. So that's all of that. Hopefully, you know, if you made it this far, great. If not, not a problem. I understand. But please just, if, if this bothers you from here on out, I'm not going to be nicey nicey with my comments if they bug me. I'm, I'm just not. And I won't ignore them. I won't ignore them. I don't believe in ignoring anybody's comments. There are times that I, uh, you know, I can't get to you for whatever reason, for busy reasons, whatever. But if you're just being like a doofus, <laughs> 
then you're gonna get a doofus answer, okay? Okay. All right, now on to the haul. I have some really, really amazing hauls and I wanna thank you guys for sticking with me if you're still here because I know that was very long-winded, but let's just get started. Today, I thrifted gorgeous bags. Let's save this one and let's save that one for last maybe because I do have some really wonderful bags. Um, and you guys, I'm not trying to make it, please feel free to answer, ask me questions if you have questions. Just do your homework maybe, and if I post a picture, maybe read the comment at, at the top of the picture because 10 times out of 10, it will explain the post. I don't know, same goes with my videos. Like I'm getting ready to say right now, all of these items you're getting ready to see will be in a future video. If you're interested in any of these, you can also contact me on my Instagram private message. Some people like to do that and purchase ahead of time, and I'm okay with that. Okay, let's get started. Like I said, I'm gonna say it one more time because sometimes i um, having a little bit of problems with this. These bags will be for sale in an upcoming sales video that I do live. You can click and subscribe, subscribe if you like, if not, not a problem. You can little click that little bell button and uh, it, will, it will let you know when I load these videos. Here's a quilted Betsy Johnson clutch in black, wristlet clutch in black. Little, are these little hearts? What are these? Little stars maybe? Let me show you up close. But it is brand new condition. It's got a little hot pink glitter like trim, zip top closure. And if you're new, I will do um, these sales in depth. When I show you my items, I will show you each bag in depth. I also clean, sanitize, and all before I sell them. So that's bag number one, just a really cutie. Um, let's see, which one do I want to do now? I've got so many good ones, you guys. Oh, this one is in brand new condition as well. This is a Steve Madden. And like me, some of you love a great crossbody with this super adorable resin chain detail on it. This is in brand new condition. It's kind of like an accordion style. It is vegan leather by uh, Steve Madden. And it's a pebbled vegan. Vegan meaning it is PU, PU leather. Not in PU as it stinks, but PU as in plastic. Two pockets center divider and this is a zipper pocket here with a Steve Madden emblem. Okay and then the back is plain. Adorable crossbody right? Okay let's see. No I don't want to do that one yet. I don't. Okay I'll do this one. Oh yeah, look at you guys, I got a little garden flag. I'm gonna put out, I'm gonna take my little doggy one down and then show you guys this one, this guy getting out of the car is like, like, what are you doing? I'll just wait till he goes by. Go, do your thing, go, sh go thrifting, quit looking in here. Okay, so here's the flag, it's a little heart with fireworks, just one of those little garden, garden flags. I paid $1.99 for it. And it's adorable, go USA, okay. Um, oh, this is just a, a tank top I got for when we're riding. Cute little tank top. I might pay. I paid too much for this. $7.99, but it's okay. And then I got this little t-shirt because it's super comfortable and cool. And it's the Cowgirl Cafe t-shirt. Really cute little gray v-neck tee. Oh, what did I pay for that? In case you're wondering, I paid... Did I... Pull this one off. Two, did I pay two ninety nine? I paid two ninety nine for this. Three bucks. Look, you guys. This looks like a Stella McCartney. It is not a Stella McCartney, but it sure does look like it, and it is a brand new condition. Other than it's somebody, I think somebody might have given it a gift and maybe like put little ribbon on it. I'll cut that off. But it's so pretty. It's got the gold chain detail on like a gray lizard sort of look material the chain goes all the way around every time i get one like this or similar to it it sells right away it's a very nice size tote style zipper on the back 
the inside, as you can see, is brand spanking new. And this is by Sandra Roberts. Pocket here. And a couple pockets over here. And a mag big magnetic snap. Really, really nice bag. Really nice. Okay, this one is brand spanking new with tags. Look at this gorgeous purse. Let's scoot back. This is a Badgley Mishka, genuine leather. I paid 20 bucks for it. Brand new with tags. The tags are right here. Never used. This on the top is genuine pony hair. These are all little gold micro studs. I don't know if it's got the, it doesn't have how much retail was on this, but it's like a black crackle leather with a twist lock closure. Then you have a completely perfect interior. It's lots of pockets. It has the Badger Mishka hang tag zipper back pocket. It has a top handle and then it also has a strap that adjusts. You can take it off if you like and it's beautiful. Feet on the bottom. The leather on this is gorgeous. It's, this is definite, definite quality in a purse and it's brand new. So I picked it up. Okay. I have this so cute little adorable um, camera style coach, vintage coach crossbody. Let's see, let me zip her up for you. In a mini signature. It's got the contrast strap, which is black on one side and brown on the other. Little zip around bag. And there is the creed on the inside. That's a pocket super clean. A nice zipper pocket on the front. And it's in a black and gray. Black leather trim. The strap is leather as well. It is adjustable. I like the way that looks. It's really cool. It's got the hang tag. Nice little purse. I think this is the camera style. That's what it's called. What a cute little bag though, right? So that's my coach. Then I have my Betsy Johnson. This is so cool. Look at this one. Look, look, look. Oh, I love this one. Get the little straps out here. Check this out. Olive green, big black bow, Pocket on the back, Betsy Johnson, leopard fur, faux, faux fur, like a faux pony hair on the sides. Yes to this purse. Super adorable satchel. On the inside, it's got your little key lanyard. There's the interior. And look at this strap. It's a chain strap with little studs at the top. Like heavy duty chain. There's the bottom. This is so stinking adorable. Do you not love this one? I do. I really love this one a lot. Got a zip top closure. Okay, so that's my Betsy Johnson. And I have a Kate Spade wallet and black Safiano. This is called the Stacy Stacy wallet. Nice zipper pocket for your coin. It unsnaps, and this is what the interior looks like. I seriously need to do another wallet sale because I went through my entire collection, and I'm getting rid getting rid of a ton of my stuff. Now this will be added to it. So black Kate Spade Stacy. 
then I found another one of these amazing coach bags. It's in the gunmetal and there's a name, but I cannot remember the name of it. I sold this one exactly like this and then I sold the mini one as well. So look at the leather on it. I'll look up the name soon. Doesn't have the crossbody strap, but you can easily attach your own. Um, this is a front pocket. And then it's a zipper top and the inside looks wonderful. There is the Creed and I actually tried it on in the store and it fits like a tote on me as well. So you can use it as a tote, as a crook of your arm bag. Um, super cute. Looks like a lizard leather in gunmetal. It's got the little tags on it still. Okay. So that is this coach. And that is all I have for today's video. Thank you for letting me rant. It's been a long time coming and I'm gonna have lots and lots of followers that are going to agree. And I'm gonna have lots and lots of followers that don't agree because that's life. That's just the way life works. I've raised three kids and I know, and I've been with the same man for 20 something years we've been married for 20 so I know what it is to agree and disagree doesn't mean you have to like it you don't have to stay but if you would like to stay more more than welcome but I'm not going to ignore silly comments anymore I'm just gonna start saying you guys need to wake up a little bit wake up a little bit all right you guys on that note stay humble stay kind and I'll see you on tomorrow's video goodbye guys